Let's start it. Okay. Thursday, May 7, 2005, this four-year-old Maltese had a history of low lipid cells and low hemoglobin. That was about one year ago. And uh, the owner left for overseas and, and the dog was taken care by a friend. Now, about half a year ago, the owner's friend noticed hair loss and uh, brought this dog to another vet. Now, the other vet diagnosed as hemolytic immune mediated hemolytic anemia because of the very low red blood cell hemoglobin and platelets in March 2015. Then later on, the dog was sent to another vet for ultrasound, which showed nothing much but the same thing again, hemolytic or at least anemia, low red blood cell, low hemoglobin and low platelets, very low platelets. So this is also can be seen that uh, we have a lot of pimples and rashes on the body. Now, the, the first vet who saw this dog in uh, March 2013 said that the dog, a lot of, the dog has a lot of neck mites on the ears. So one of the causes of uh, the lower resistance is mites, nematic mites spreading all over the body. And uh, now, as to the cause of this anemia, there are many causes. One of them is immune-mediated hemolytic anemia. And uh, so this dog always has a diarrhea on and off according to the friend, owner's friend. And uh, when he came to me two days ago, he is in his best shape. And uh, as you can see, the skin was very red and uh, there were a lot of pimples, pimples and pastils on the body. Now, I, I've given the drip and a dexa and the skin now is, is much better. So, now the thing is that the dog does not want to eat, so we have to, we have to hand feed a special diet AD. Now to do that, you have to open the mouth and put the foot far back, back and then lift up the neck and let the dog swallow. After that, preferably, give some water, a bit of water to swallow. This is because the dog doesn't want to eat on, on, on her own. So normally I, I will feed half a can. I mix with uh, iron, multivitamins, and uh, folic acid into the canned food, the critical care AD. And uh, one should feed the dog at least three times a day. Now the dog is not eating, so if you don't, if you don't put the food there, and the dog will not eat. So we mix with. Uh, multivitamin iron and folic acid and then you just give bit by bit small bit give up the cheek get up and go further back to the back of the tongue hold the head up a bit preferably with a bit of water a bit of water to swallow And uh, so we don't fit too much. I fit about two, two teaspoons, two tables, uh, two teaspoons full. And after that, we have to stop because otherwise the dog will vomit out. So uh, it's best to continue. And then antibiotics is given already. The drip is given. Now the low platelet cells, the red, low red blood cell and low hemoglobin are uh, signs and symptoms of. Uh, Immune mediated uh, anemia, hemolytic anemia. So, this is one of the reasons. Huh? What are the causes? There are many causes. So, at the moment, uh, 
we don't know exactly what's the cause of this uh, uh, immune-mediated hemolytic anemia since uh, this dog is only four years old, but it looks very old, you can see it's very white, that uh, the gums are all white. So we will have to wait and see whether it improves or not. So this is the day one of treatment. Okay, thank you.